I am particularly excited as my guest is most special, a woman whom I compare with an encyclopedia of good natural living. Talking with her is learning about cooking, about food and plants, about how to live less waste in this wonderful world in which we live, about food policy, nutrition, fasting, workers and indigenous rights, about feminism, menstrual cycles, humanized birds, and what not. She is the wonderful Bella Gill, and she is fire. Do not move. In minutes, we are connecting with the super Brazilian woman, Bella Gill. Stay tuned. The next 20 minutes are filled with powerful information. Connected starts right now. Bella Gill is a TV host, trained in nutrition, chef of natural cuisine, activist, writer, and at the moment she is pursuing a master's degree at Slow Food University in Italy. Bella seeks to highlight the importance of healthy and conscious food through various projects. She is the host of the Vida Mais Bella and Bella Cozinha TV programs where she receives celebrities small producers and specialists in natural foods. With more than 2 million followers in her social networks, she further tightens the relationship with the public with her channel Canal da Bella on YouTube. There are addressed all the topics related to healthy living, conscience consumption, maternity and, of course, real food. She supports a number of social projects and plays the part of it at the helm of Bella Infancia, which teaches children from public and private schools throughout Brazil to eat better and fight childhood obesity. Bella also teaches cooking classes and gives lectures throughout Brazil. She is the mother of Flor and Nino, and she is married to businessman João Paulo de Massi. It is my pleasure today to introduce Bella Jill. Bella, welcome to Connected. It is such an honor to have you here today. I really appreciate the time you have taken. I know you have a busy schedule. So how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. Bella, let's go ahead. Please tell me, how did your life lead you towards the path of cooking and health nutrition? Well, everything started actually with the practice of yoga. I was in my teens, I think I was 15 years old when I started to practice uh, yoga, um, Ashtanga yoga, and also I read uh, the autobiography of a yogi, that book by Paramahansa Yogananda and it changed totally my life, the way I approach food. So because of that, I started to avoid some kind of foods like processed foods and um, a lot of sugar and meat. I stopped eating meat and I felt um, uh, a very I felt very good with my body. So I was like, oh my God, food really plays a big role in our health and the way we approach life. So I have to study more of this. And that, that was when I, I understood that I really wanted to study nutrition. So I went, I'm from Brazil and I went to, to New York to study and um, I did, um, and once I got there, I was already, um, eating consciously and I decided to cook for myself because I thought it was like the best way to really um, eat healthy in that because in New York either you go to the very you know uh, clean organic um, farm to table kind of thing 
or you just go to the junk food. Yeah. <laughs> and I decided, okay, I, I, I don't think I can afford the, the um, like pricey organic restaurant and I don't want to eat cheap, like uh, junk food, right. uh, unhealthy. And I decided to cook for myself. And then I was like, wow, cooking is very good. And I decided to, to um, uh, pursue in in the culinary arts so i went to a culinary school and after that i went to nutrition uh, i got my undergrad in, in nutrition i see so it was very kind of you had like a natural your life started to leading you and you were to naturally deciding what you like to do so tell us about the experiences you had learning both of these practices how was your day by day where did you study it well i so i it was very much um, um, learning from the inside out and um, that really helped me to understand um, how I could expand this because I was I changed my diet and I felt the difference um, in my my skin my my humor my like energy. everything like I was energy my sleep I was like much better like a better person and I and, and people were, were very curious and I so I started to study uh, microbiotics, uh, Ayurvedic, uh, all these alternative uh, medicines and philosophies and way of life. So, and, and New York is very cosmopolitan, so you have a lot of influences of uh, this kind of things and it was very interesting. And, and my friends got very interested in that too, like I was cooking different things with ancient grains and, and they uh, asked me to uh, teach more about that and also to um, um, cook for them. So I started like this, I started cooking, I started working as a private chef in people's house, in people's home, cooking for them and later uh, giving cooking classes at home. So that's wow. how it started, yeah, and and um, because I thought that maybe they observed myself being very happy and and energized, and I really want like if they asked me something about it, I would just you know give like a lecture about <laughs> what I was uh, studying and and how food could be approached as a way to treat and prevent diseases and all of this. So it was very, I was very health oriented in the way that I was cooking. So that's how I started. And when I, um, so that I did that while I was uh, studying in the university, uh, nutrition. So when I graduated, I came back to Brazil and started doing the TV show Bella Cozinha, uh, where I think it's from where everybody knows me, kind of. Right, because <laughs> that's what I was going to say. You started several years ago, and then little by little, you, you started giving classes, being a, a private chef. You wrote some books as well, and then you have also your TV show. Let's first talk about your books. What, do you, what did you write about? What, what, how did you have the need to say, okay, I'm going to write books? Well, the, my first book actually was uh, the collection of the recipes that I was presenting in, on the TV show in, on Bella Cozinha. And for the first and second season of the show, I got the recipes from, from it and put in the book. And it was amazing. It was a huge success. Like even the, the TV channel that I work for, they were, wow, like we never had this, uh, uh, like never expected this this kind of success. And so I, um, so because the, let, let me talk about the TV show because it relates to the book because the right. book is kind of a mirror of the, the, the TV show. So uh, it's, um, well, I think in Brazil and maybe all over the world, culinary, um, like TV shows, cook shows, are a trend now, right? right? And <laughs> so, like, is there a one more? Um, it's, it's, is there a room for one more? And I was thinking, okay, I want to do something different. And actually, what I was doing was already different. I couldn't, I, I didn't have to think 
of like very creatively to do something different because my way of cooking, the ingredients that I was looking for, that I was cooking with, was already different from what was showing shown on TV. So I cook, it is a um, plant-based um, TV show. Uh, this is already a huge thing because Brazil is a heavy meat eater country. Yes. And cheese. So, yeah. And so that's, uh, that's one thing. And the other thing is that um, um, I was cooking with ingredients like ancient grains and wild edible uh, plants and native ingredients and people didn't know about them or, or they couldn't find them. So I was like, ah, that's um, like people got very interest, interested in, in my way of, of cooking and dealing with the, the food, but they couldn't find actually uh, in a regular supermarket, for example. And that's what brought me into food acti activism, you know? So b because of that, I was like, okay, I want people to really make what I'm doing on TV. So I, I need to give them access to this. So um, now I really, I'm really working on democratizing the food system and, and really engaging in getting people's um, access either financially and physically to the food that, that I work with, that it's the way to prever preserve biodiversity and all of this. So that's that's where I, I'm at. And that's the, the first book brought me there, you know? Right, that's a huge impact actually, because it's not the fact that we don't have the resources. It's just that there are some elements and some ingredients that we don't find on a regular supermarket. And that's when we find ourselves very, I wouldn't say poor, but we have like little choices. When really, if we look around and we learn more or if we listen to pe more people like you, we end up realizing that we have a lot more choices and other, other sources of, of ingredients and, and food that can give a, a big benefit to us. So what about your other two books? Well, and the other two books, the I mean, I have, yeah, I have uh, four, actually, four cookbooks. Oh, okay. um, yeah, so the, the first one, um, the, all my four, uh, my four cookbooks, they are kind of a mirror of the um, culinary show that I have on TV, but they have different things. So the, the first is kind of an introduction of this uh, plant-based, more healthy, um, approach of um, cooking and the second one uh, it's I would say that the second level of it and the third one it's 100% um, vegan and gluten-free and it's based on Brazilian ingredients uh, it's called um, Bella, Cus Bella Cozinha Ingredientes do Brasil and, um, and my fourth one is uh, based on my last season of the TV show where I cook with the... Well, it's all about uh, food waste, so avoiding food waste. And I, I call it um, the... Well, I cook with foods that I call new foods that everybody already knew. I know it's a little bit funny, but it's because everybody knows a watermelon, for example, but they don't know what to do with a watermelon peel, or they don't know what to do with a melon peel, or with a papaya seed, or um, the pumpkin seeds, or the, the carrot leaves, or um, the beet leaves, you know? So Basically, everybody all of the parts of the, the, the fruits that we throw away, the, basically. That what we to do throw with away, that. exactly. What, what you can do with that. And that's a way to avoid food waste and it's a way to uh, cheapen the, the, uh, the food, uh, si not the food system, but uh, your, well, the food expense that you have at home, you know, because if you buy a carrot for, or if you buy a melon for $5, let's say, and you throw away the peel, you're throwing away two, um, 250. Uh, dollars, uh, two dollars and fifty cents, uh, right. in the trash because the half of the way of the melon is uh, it's gone, you know. So that's that's how I I approach 
food in this last uh, book. So yeah, it was very it was very nice to to see how people were open to try new uh, ingredients and new taste and because there's a lot of rejection sometimes when you talk about food waste and and um, cooking with parts of the foods that you throw away people get a little mm, you know there's this psychological effect of no it's trash no it's not trash it's food <laughs> right and most importantly to the new moms right because we have a new generation coming so new moms that you know present you a fruit that has different or four ways to use it that's a complete uh, game changer for for humanity basically Bella I love how um, diverse you are like you in every single uh, aspect of your life, as a chef, as a writer, as a TV presenter, everything you do, it's always like very positive and has a beautiful message. Bella, from all of the talented professionals you have had the chance to work with, which one of them is the one that you had, uh, or you had, you ha you were more influenced by, the one that you remember? Oh my God! I I, I I won't be able to say one. I know that, because that, I it's saw hard. your channel and I saw so many guests and I said, I she's gonna have a hard time finding this. I I have yeah, and that's not and you're not the first person to ask me that, but it's because I I don't work in one like food has so many, it's so broad you know it's a very broad subject and I think the new guys gastronomy it's uh, it's going to this direction you know of seeing food as a more holistic um, thing that really interferes with our economy with our uh, environment with our um, sociability I mean with our maternity everything and so I have inspirations from all over this uh, from all these these areas and fields you know I can tell you like a few chefs but I can tell you also a few journalists and doctors and and mothers and, and I mean I have so much inspiration uh, I, I'm I'm very much inspired by so many people that it's it's very hard but I can name a few I, I can name um, do. Michael Pollan is a very uh, inspirational person, journalist that took me into this uh, more political approach to food, as well as Maria Nessel, the nutritionist uh, from NYU. Um, Alex Atala, the Brazilian chef, uh, brought me. He he brought me into the Amazon and showed me um, more about the indigenous um, communities and cul culinary experiences. And, um, and and there, are, like Sonia Ish, she's a Brazilian journalist that uh, writes about food and medicine and treatments, and she really inspired me a lot. Neji Higo is another cul culinarist in, in Brazil. Um, well, and, and and I don't know, like many many people. Ern er Ernst Gotch is. Um, Swiss, I believe, or German. Now I don't remember, but he's an agronomist and he's doing a very nice work in Brazil about um, agroforestry. And the leaders of the um, MST movement in Brazil, I don't know if you heard about it, the um, landless, the movement of the landless workers, uh, rural workers. And I mean, that's what I'm saying. I have too so many. many people, it's too many. It is true. And also on your YouTube channel, there is that extent of topics, exactly what you were saying. You talk about nutrition, cooking, also motherhood, self-care, sustainability, among others. So considering that you are that type of superwoman, I'm gonna call you, because you know, you have that, um, the knowledge, number one, and then second, you use the big platform you have to uh, put your message out there. And what would you say it is the message from Bella to the world? 
Well, I think I really work to, as a communicator, let's say, I work to provide information to people that inspires transformation. So I, I just don't want to give information like, like this, you know. I want them to do something with that. And I know there's a limit um, to what people can do. And so that's why I became a food activist, to really um, improve the access of people for the opportunity to change. So I, I work with um, um, NGOs and politicians and other uh, movements, food movements, and, and that's so. But the message is, is that, is to give information to people, to empower people, and also to, um, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. It's really to empower people through information. Right, and that's something that as soon as you Google Bella Jill, you find like a vast amount of information. And I really, really admire you. I am a fan, I love your work, and I really think that Thank we you. need more people like you in the world. Bella, I'm gonna give you space for you to share your social media information. Go ahead. Oh, okay, so thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I have a YouTube channel called Canal da Bella. It's like Bella's channel. Uh, and there you can find so many things about maternity, about uh, uh, feminism and culinary health. I mean, it's, it's a big world there. And I also have an Instagram account. Uh, it's, it's um, what do you call the little thing? At, at. sorry. <laughs> at, <laughs> at Bella Gill, one L. And my Facebook is also Bella Gill. And my Twitter is also Bella Gill. So thank you. Thank you for giving me that space. Thank you, Bella. I hope you continue like changing people's lives and giving them the knowledge we all need to continue thriving, thriving in this world. A kiss all Thank the way you to so Italy. Much. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. People, there are no more excuses. If Bella Gill's experiences resonate powerfully with you, look her up, learn, cook, transform yourself, and in the process, practice your Portuguese. Why not? Let's use the internet for something more than just fun. There is nothing to regret, rather there is too much to benefit from it. I am thrilled with all the authors and names she dropped during this interview. Do your research. To connect with me, write me to my email or send me a private message on my Facebook page. Stay connected and until next time with me. Bye-bye.